good morning all so we have to construct the development of the square prism uh, using solid rate software okay so first we have to construct a square prism here uh, with the dimension here uh, the solid rates i am using the newer version that is solid rates 2021 i got it from the google okay so i will tell you how to download from it okay in the next uh, subsequent videos so first I am uh, constructing an XY line with the thickness of uh, 0 0.13 and then I will be constructing giving the naming here okay the font size I will make it as uh, 5 so that it is visible XY VPHP because we are using the first quadrant okay Now we can uh, see the diagram. We have to construct a square uh, square of dimension 40, resting with the corner position. First, I will constructing a square using rectangle by center. Here, I will give the width 40, height also 40, and angle 45 degree. Okay, angle 45 degree. We have to give, then place it, and we can show the dimension using smart dimension for a one edge. So I'll make this uh, thick, okay? By selecting, uh, I'll make it 0 0.50 mm. We know that the lamina should be 0 0.50 mm. Okay. So you can see the front view it is 65 mm. So by drawing the projection lines. You can draw the front view of it. You can see how beautiful it is. It is showing the length, angle, everything at that instant and exactly the middle point and all everything. We can able to rectify it easily. So in this version. Okay. So the front view here it will be drawn with the 0 0.50 mm. Length of uh, 65. Okay, and the line of length 65 mm we can give. So you can get the end point exactly. You can see that how beautiful it is. The software here you can show the smart dimension 65 mm. Okay, now <coughs> we can give the naming here. So as it is there in the um, problem, I will write the same notation A, B, C, D. I am not writing the all uh, the bottom face notation A, B, C, D only I will mention with the solution book. Now we have to consider a line from the top face at a distance of 15 mm. So you can see that this is our top face. From here to here, I will be drawing a vertical line of 15. You can type in 15 and then enter. Here you have to take section plane. For that, I will be taking an axis line here for the section plane here. Okay. You can see here, it is there at a distance of 15 mm from the top face and it is having an angle of 60 degree. Okay, for this uh, software, you can see we can use the tab button, okay, in order to change it. You can, you cannot give it directly here. So, you can use the tab button here. Okay. tab button and you can uh, type the give the angle 60 degree sixty enter okay so this is what we got the section plane now using extend to next we can extend this line okay so in this here the extend to next command it is there within the split command okay so here uh, it's not directly given and they are uh, mentioning some of the commands within the uh, some within the commands it is there it just you go inside the split command you will get that okay using parallel uh, uh, parallel line also we can do it but the best way here it is to go for the extend to next okay extend to next we go 
will get the exact uh, parallel line here. Okay, within this we have extended units, we have extended and we can show the angle here using angle command, angle between. So, angle we getting here 60 degree. Okay. Okay, now we can see we have to develop the retained portion of it. So, the remaining lines, the upper portion, I am going to make it as a thin line. Before that, I have to use the split command and split it where we want to make it the uh, thick lines. Okay, So, I will be splitting up. So, it will be easy for us to make the uh, differentiate with the thick line and the thin line. Okay. So now we can uh, draw the, can give the namings here. Okay, we have to give the namings here wherever the actually cutting is happening. Okay, so here one it is exactly cutting at the edge, vertical edge A, and similarly two it is uh, cutting exactly at the point B, but uh, the point three it's not cutting on that exact uh, vertical edge, so it is cutting in between B and C. Okay, it is cutting in between B and C. For that, we will be drawing a projection, thin line, thin line projection. Okay, so that we will get, we'll get to know that where exactly it is uh, uh, cutting down exactly. Okay, so we can mention here 3. So, this is where we are getting 3. And similarly here, exactly here, we are getting 4, okay. And this point here, we are getting 5, exactly on that vertical edge, okay. Now, we have to draw the development of this. So, I will be drawing a parallel line here from the top face with a thin line. Okay, draw straight line. Now using uh, offset command, we are going to consider this. Uh, we have to draw because it is a square prism. It is having four faces. Okay, so we are going to extend until we get four four faces here because it is a square prism. Okay. Now we can mention. can show the dimension here and we can write down these uh, vertical edges as capital A, this is capital B, this is capital C, capital D and capital A. Okay. So now we can see the one we are getting on a exactly here and uh, two and five we have to uh, draw an extension line here a straight line from that point. So, in order to get the exact point, I am will going to use the split command here. So, by splitting it, we get the exact point here. So, from this point, from the, from this exact point, yes, getting there. Okay. So, I will be drawing a thin line so that we can able to mark a 2 and 5. And now you can see we have to mark point number uh, 3 and 4. Point number uh, 3 and 4 we have to mark by measuring this distance from B to 3. So go to, uh, you can split it. This is what the exact length we wanted. So I am going to use the split command again here. Then I will use smart dimension. So it is 12.25. So this is what the exact length we have to cut it using arc by center. Okay. So go to arc by center command. From uh, point 2, we can uh, give the radius 12.25 from that exact vertical edge. This point 12.25 enter and cut the arc. The same way we should cut it from the vertical edge 
from the point 5 vertical edge d here the same length we should consider at 12.25 enter and sweep so this is where we are getting uh, point 3 and 4 3 and 4 okay so now we can join it with a thick line and this is what the development of this uh, problem you can see here exact points you can get it easily you can zoom in and uh, get the exact point okay and then join and we need to dark uh, the only the retained portion okay here i think i have missed one so i am writing that okay now we have to dark uh, the retained cut portion and the remaining thing should be there in the thin lines okay so okay now uh, we have to make the upper portion as a thin line okay so that it will uh, will get a clear understanding so which are the thick line and which are the thin lines okay so you can i'll split it up exactly because this uh, portion also we should make it thin so that we get a clear understanding okay so this line also i'll make it as a thin line 0 0.13 okay and this portion also will make it as 0 0.13 okay which i have already split it okay so this completes the problem so guys you can share it to the maximum students so that they can get benefited and subscribe for the channel and hit for the bell icon for the latest notif notifications okay you can share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from these videos thank you all thank you for watching the videos